Hi guys, Brendo here from Advanced Radio and today we're going to go through a quick setup video on how to set up your Gropner system with the Smoothflight RRS or the Gropner RRS. Today we'll be using a 24MZ radio and two 12L receivers. Now as you can see these have already been plugged into the smart bus and they have been bound but we'll go through that setup in a moment. You can also use a larger Gropner receiver like the 16 or even the 24. Okay, so we'll pan over to the radio just quickly. We'll go through the basic setup. First of all, go into your base menu and your TX control and note that you've got two receivers bound. As you can see, we've got both the six channels there. Note which one is the RX1 receiver. If we pan over to the bus, this is very, very important. Your master receiver should be plugged into A1 on the smooth flight or R1 on the RRS system. And your secondary receiver should be plugged into A2 on the IRS system. Now this little cable coming out of A3 is for telemetry and that needs to be plugged into the telemetry port on the Gropner receiver. With these 12 channels it's the one marked with the T or channel 5 and with the 16 it's the one at the back there. You can just see the little T marking there. Okay, And that'll give you telemetry downlink to your radio. So we'll go into a quick setup. We pan back over to the radio. Come out of that menu and go to telemetry go to settings and data view and what you want to do is set sum D at channel 6 to the value of sum D okay that will give you the output to your receivers and that will give you the output from the receivers to the bus using a single cable now to set up uh, telemetry come out of there and if we go to sensor you should notice after about 30 seconds if you're turning on your system um, the electric air dot mod will switch to on and if we come out of here again back, back and back once more and go into the telemetry setup there's the telemetry data if we hit next you can see battery 1 battery 2 current voltage altimeter and milliamps yeah. there we go so this setup for the Gropner system is that easy and if just to uh, show you, we'll go into the main menu on the RRS system, we'll go to receiver, and we'll notice if we just hit reset here, you'll see the frames coming in from both receivers there. Okay, so this is a truly redundant receiver system. If we unplug one receiver, the other one will keep sending out packets, and if we swap them over, the other one, the receiver two will start, uh, will, will keep sending out packets. And if we go into the monitor screen here, you can see the servos moving and you can actually hear me moving the radio there. So that's how to set up the Gropner system. It's just that simple. And uh, then you can get the full use out of your Smart Bus RS or Smooth Flight. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.